Hi. It's me, Enz. Uh, I'm back. I think I might have to, uh, redo the world. The game was updated. I'm not being threatened, right? It's not being like, hey, you gotta, you gotta restart your game. So maybe it's fine. I don't know. Um, let's see. It's Wednesday afternoon. It's my break day for my stream. So I just finished my stream. Uh, my voice uh, has been getting messed up this week. Uh, I'll explain. I'll elaborate. Uh, I had brought in a space heater from storage. It's like, yeah, it's nobody cares. I, whatever. Get blog posted on. All right. Uh, I brought in a space heater from storage. Uh, and, uh, I think it might have been, like, full of, like, toxic dust or mold. Because uh, after, like, two nights of using it, uh, my throat started to hurt, and, uh, I had, like, a lot of mucus. Like, a runny nose, like, really bad. So I stopped using it, and I immediately started to improve. It's about day three of recovery. Um, I'm fine now. No longer, like, spewing gallons of snot from my face. Uh... But my voice gets messed up. Uh, and it got really bad. I sounded like Marge Simpson for a couple streams. Um, it's better right now. I'm worried that as I continue recording, it'll start to get messed up. If that starts to happen, don't make fun of me. Don't be like typing away at, at the comments. Like, oh, he's going through puberty. Don't, don't type that. All right. I'm not, I, I'm an old man. Okay. Orbs have dropped. Okay, don't don't type anything weird. All right. Yeah. If but if my voice starts getting weird, I'm sorry. Uh, but that's why. Now you know. Um, somebody explained that we this house is a greenhouse and that's why it's uh, overheated. Right. I didn't. You're right. I didn't realize I lived in a greenhouse, dude. I've been living in a greenhouse my whole life. Damn, dude. I guess that's what happened last time too. Now I know. The more you know. Okay, what the hell am I doing? What, what's happening? The storage vessel, good choice. Raw prospecting pick. Interesting. And a anvil mold. All mission critical stuff. Right? And we, how much how much ore do we have lined up? 1,200. Of tin bronze. Big fan of that. So, saw blade, pick, anvil. What's up? What's, what the heck was the other option? Hammer? Saw blade, pick, uh, pick, hammer. I think that's what I'm gonna go with. Uh, yeah, so one of these will be full. And right, that'll be our saw blade. Oh, okay, here's my project pile. I see. I had a past answer. I'd already decided. So saw blade, pick, hammer. Got it. Good job, me. Well done. Um, what should we do? I don't. I, we kind of, my mind's all over the place. Oh man, my voice is already getting messed up, dude. This is terrible. <laughs> Hold on. You're gonna edit that out, right? Hacking up your lungs? No, what? Since what have I edited a single damn thing? Never. I'm not gonna edit anything out for a cold day. It is what it is. We'll do the editing with the uh, future, future uh, vintage stories uh, videos, but. This ain't it. Um, I'm worried about my plants, man. I'm pretty sure the basil's not gonna make it. I think they, what you call dampened off. And if that's the case, I wonder if it's gonna propagate to the other plants. I regret having them on the same cells. Or I should have just had their own dedicated cells to avoid this sort of thing. I've learned my lesson. But um, I'm thinking I might pot up uh, the tomatoes the first set of tomatoes I, I I had planted, I might pot them up now. They have, uh, I don't know, how do you know if it's like their second set of true leaves? I try to look this up, but it doesn't fucking, I can't find good examples. Um, they have their true leaves and they're kind of bigger and they're already having like more. I assume that'll be the second set. I don't, I don't know. They're not very tall. They're about like two inches, maybe a little, maybe close to three inches. But I'm just going to pot them up. I'm going to pot them up with a uh, seed starter and compost. I might do like 30% compost, 70% seed starter. 
and just pot them up like that until I pot them up to their final destination. That's my plan. I hope I'm not fucking that up, man. Right? I hope I hope that's a good strategy. Um, but I'm just gonna pull the trigger on that today. So I'm looking forward to doing that. I'm, I'm gonna bury them deep too. I'm gonna bury them all the way up to their leaves, right? Just just above the the soil. That's the plan anyway. And uh, hopefully uh, they get some more robust roots. Uh, maybe I'm potting them up too soon, but I'm starting to think that like if I'm not planting an aggressive amount of plants, I might be better off just putting them in a, a solo cup to begin with. You lose less micromanagement, but I don't need the micromanagement because it's just like a couple of plants. I don't mind moving them around and, and all that stuff. So I'm, I'm blog posting because I'm just I don't know what to do. Uh, let's decide. Um, we need more wood for sure. And I wouldn't mind hunting while doing that. We already have our charcoal lined up. I, w I don't mind making more of it. Um, food is, is always a, a, an issue. We should check on the plants and make sure they're watered. Let's go do that. What genre of music is this? Sorry, I always ask that on my stream. Looking pretty good. Oh yeah, bucket technology, dude. I think we have the the fabrics to do that, right? Well, I didn't delete them. I feel like all the actions I take lead to the delete deletion of things. Um, it looks like most of the crops are fine. They're pretty early in their stages. Besides the stunted cabbages. But uh, I don't have a lot of faith that I'll survive long enough. Right? By the time this stuff is done, will I be dead? I don't know. I hope so, Eds. What? Can't say that to me. Um, I don't want to go out there at nighttime for uh, hunting purposes. So let me let me just like review the plans here. Uh, bronze pick, bronze hammer, and uh, saw blade. That's 300 units, right? So we need 1,200 units to do that. And that's what we have, right? For the anvil and all that. Um, in terms of food, we got to go hunting again. We only have 15 steaks left. And uh, when we do that, we'll go look for... What, what kind of night is it? It's calm. There was, a, again, the game updated, but it didn't ask me to, like, regenerate the world or anything. So I assume I'm fine. Can we work on anything tonight? Let's see. Um. Well, we have all this metal. So I'll put this away for now. I have this hammer. Don't need this right now. We'll need it. Oh, look at this. Look at this uh, bronze shovel. Very fancy. That's rich guy stuff, man. So, oh yeah. Uh, in terms of warmth, we're fine. This stuff is getting worn out. I do have to repair it. I'm not sure what materials it needs to repair. But uh, do I have the gloves? I do. We still don't have the body for this. Um, yeah, I lost my train of thought on all of this. I might, I might, I might forego waiting for comments, and I might start recording these more often in terms of like when I do it. So that way I, <laughs> there's a small chance my feeble mind will retain some knowledge about the previous episode, you know? That's the plan anyway. Um, let's make a bed. You know, I might just go cut grass while I blog post, because I know I'm going to need a lot of it for our, our build. We need a lot of clay, a lot of dirt, and a lot of grass, and a lot of sand. Uh, grass especially, since I want to use that for, like, quite a few things. Uh, so let's just do that for now. While we wait for uh, our fine goods to be done and daylight to go hunting. Huh. It sucks when you don't have a, an abundance of food to just sleep through the night. I feel like I gotta be a little bit more productive. Right? And you can't see. Okay, okay. Alright, how's this? Let me make sure there's no bears nearby. I mean, I can't tell. 
I'm gonna assume there's not not a prowling bear waiting to strike. Um, I'm having a hard time speaking. I gotta like force my voice, but it, it's so much better than it was like a couple of hours ago. Like just resting my voice a little bit seems to have made the difference. But uh, I wanted to record this on break day. Um, I uh, there's some family events going on and I gotta. I, I'm not sure. I'm unsure of my scheduling. So right now, while I know I have time, I wanna I wanna get this done. Uh, but yeah, so today I just wanna do that. I wanna pot up. I wanna pot up the tomatoes. I don't think it's too bad if I pot them up a little early, right? They'll be about like two inches extra into the ground from their stem, right? Because they grow roots from their stems, tomatoes. So I'll pot them up into uh, solo cups, and then from there into their their grow bags. Um, I'm worried, man. I'm worried that they're not going to make it, but we'll see. Uh, I have advanced my not tying prowess. Um, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty settled with what I want to use for, for my trellising. I think it'll come out pretty nice. Uh, so, <laughs> the only thing I'm worried about is mega winds because it, it's not like it's windy all year round for me. But when it does get windy, it's windy. But we'll see. I mean, gotta gotta try to find out. I suppose. Um, I'm hoping that my budget recovers this month. Uh, I might have to eat a lot of ground beef this month if I if I go for the plants. But kind of want to buy some flower seeds. I'm gonna go with marigolds. Uh, and uh, I want to try to grow my mom, my mom a flower she likes. She likes gardenias. So I'm going to try to grow my mom a gardenia. It is feasible where I live, I guess. I want to try to grow it from seed. Um, that's my plan anyway. So hopefully it goes well. Wish me luck on that one. I'd be really happy if I could give her something like that. For me, meh. Right? So I'm going to try that too. Um, I want to buy seeds. I want to buy a garbage can um and some and some cocoa core uh, you, whatever i talked about this last episode you guys know what i you guys know what i'm doing probably allegedly but i'm enjoying this stuff quite a bit um it's fun to do i i i think i might water too much but basically when the top soil looks dry i stick my finger in it and if it feels you know, not damp to my fingertip when I stick my finger in there. I just water it. That's been my protocol. I think what ended up happening to the basil if they didn't dampen off is that maybe they got too uh, leggy and just folded over. Because uh, I did have two days of, of cloud cover and rain and they didn't have good light. Right? They just had cloudy days. And it was getting really cold. It was getting like sub 40 degrees um, Fahrenheit. So I, I used the space heater to kind of warm the room. And I think I just created the ideal, like, maybe it was warm enough for them to not get stunted. But it was also warm and dark enough that they got leggy. So I think that's what I did, right? I think I I murked my, uh, my basil. So I think I'm going to just try to grow basil again. And I think I'm just going to start it in the, the, so the solo cup again. I don't care. I'm going to start it there. Um, and then uh, I'm going to pot them up into the, the planter of, uh, where I'm going to grow the tomatoes. Because I intend to have the tomatoes eventually, I, right, once they have the foliage to support themselves. I intend to, like, get rid of a lot of the bottom, the bottom stuff. And just have, like, a very clear open spot near the soil, near the planter. And, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of thinking, like... I'm gonna do mulch, but I might put I might have basil in the same container. I have a 10 gallon container I'm gonna grow them in. I wonder if that's bad or good. But I kinda wanna do it that way. I feel like I should reduce the odds of failure though, because it's my first time. Right? I feel like I feel like I'm I'm, I'm being too experimental as a as a novice. But we'll see. I don't know if I mentioned this last time. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Repetitive guy repeats himself. Yet again. 
It, it happens when you're cutting grass all night. And we are doing this for a purpose. We want to have... I want to rebuild the this whole place, right? Um, I only want the transparent part on the top. And we're going to surround this with a mound. If you guys saw my... My non-YouTube build, right? Um, I want it like that. I like the idea of it being like a little hill of grass. And you look down and you see our crops. That's how I want our greenhouse to look. And attached to that will be our house. Our house is just going to be... Uh, uh, maybe I'll make it like an L shape. And maybe put a second floor on it. I think that's how I'm going to do it. Um, the forge... I think I want it outdoors, but we'll see. It depends, because like if the cold is extreme here, then maybe I want it indoors. It might be too intrusive to have it outdoors for this sort of setup. Sorry, my voice is starting to go, man. <clears throat> okay. Convert these into little blocks. Store them. Nice. Got quite the collection going. Huh? Look at that. Bales of hay. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's almost daylight. Nah, it's a couple hours till then. More nonsense vlog posting from me. Uh, now today, right now at this moment... I have a pot roast going. I feel like I'm always cooking pot roast. Well, whatever. This time it's beef shank. Uh, now, beef shank, I actually prefer, because of the bone marrow, I let this one run a little longer. Um, I usually do eight hours. But um, I think I prefer around six hours for pot roast. I think I prefer that sort of toughness. I don't know, like, oh, tenderness, whatever you want to call it. Beyond that, it gets, like, really mushy. Um, but it, it just depends for me on how I'm going to eat it. And since it's like a beef shank, there's more bite to it. So I, I kind of want it. I, mean, I might only do six six hours, I think. A fork tender. Right? I just want a fork tender. So that's what I'm eating today. Is beef shank and bone marrow. Delicious. Illegally nutritious. Might actually become illegal, right? I don't know. That'd be uh, real sad. <laughs> you can't have chickens. You're not allowed to have chickens. Beef. You don't eat that. Eat this. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens with that stuff. Anyways. Where am I at here? 55? We have plenty of knives. I could keep doing this forever. I feel like we should do some sifting, too. Let's finish this stack up, and we can start doing some sifting. Oh, I don't want to do any sifting. Ends. It's that... Oh, that's right. I had said we would do a sifting episode. I was going to, like, edit it. Ugh. Never mind. I'm not going to do it. Already backing down on your word ends? Yep. I had some ideas. I guess I could still technically do it. I would have to interrupt the, the current recording to set it up and then record at a later date. Hmm. It's because I, because of the stuff that's going on in my life, I don't know my scheduling. I know I have time right now, especially on my break day. Right, I know I have a, a bunch of time. All right, you guys will have to forgive me on this one. Sorry. Damn it, Enz. What are you ever gonna edit your damn videos? I look. Probably never. Eventually. Right? Proof. I don't know who the hell's left after this point, but uh, thank you for being here. Uh, probably never. Let's be honest. Enz is too much of a degenerate uh, loser. But more like I like the idea of cold guy. Like, you see exactly how I fuck everything up. If you choose to, anyway. But uh, I don't blame anyone for not wanting to watch this. I don't... Not, not one bit. Important. Okay. Let's, uh, let's do some sifting. 
we already did a little bit more than a stack, didn't we? That's fine by me. We're hoping to get uh, candles. Um, what else? Any any sort of treasure type items so we can uh, trade and make big money. Stuff like that. I do have some room here and there. All right, we have plenty of room actually. So all the excess that we'll get, I'll have somewhere to throw it. I'm hoping for thread thread technologies. It's good stuff. Put up this uh, knife. Put up uh, this shovel. Actually, we might use that. Okay, did I ever make a panning thing? I don't know. Let's make one now. Only I had some sort of knife technology. Can I rotate without closing the window? No. Come back to me, knife. I need you still. All right, what was it? It was a knife and a log. No. You want a club? No, I don't want a club. Okay. Okay, I managed. I managed to mute myself before I uh, coughed into the microphone this time. Sorry. Um, where's all my uh, bony soil? Did I hallucinate collecting bony soil? Was this my imagination? Is it like in my bag and I'm blind? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yes, yes. Genuinely, that's exactly what it is, Ends. Oh. Now, let's put this down before I put it out by mistake and then yell. And then I curse. Time to freeze her ass off. Alright, big money. I want big money from this. Okay, here we go. I don't know what we got. I don't think we got anything. I think if we got something, it would dump it into our, our tool doll here. Let me uh, eat some meat. Put this away. Put all this away. I want to see the stuff go up. Okay, come on, candles. Come on, fabric. Come on, uh, treasure. Right? So we could trade with the traders and, and make big money. A book? I don't know how to read, dude. Nobody knows how to read. We well, got a buck. Maybe you can use it for decorative purposes. I don't know. I right, could use it as a what? Oh man, that's a son of a. Did they change the the rolls here? Okay, a gear. I'll take a gear. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. What we want though is gold, silver. Basically, rich guy stuff. We want rich guy stuff and candles. That's the good stuff. That's what we dream of. I think if I was playing under normal circumstance, I would be excited about the books for lore and, and cool decorations. But right now, I have very specific needs as a cold guy. Right, as a cold guy, I have very, very... Am I recording? Okay, I am. I have very specific... Hell yeah, we got a candle, dude. That's the good stuff. Nice. Future lantern right there. Save us on bee beeswax because we'll probably never f have bees. Uh, excuse me. Sorry, my throat is uh, is really bothering me. I, I'm glad that I sound mostly... I don't know if I sound different to you guys, but like earlier, like genuinely, I sounded like Marge Simpson. Right? Like, like Patty and Selma. It was very embarrassing. It kept sounding like my voice was cracking. And things like that. Um, and that happened around like two hours of stream time. Because I only stream two hours on these days. Uh, yesterday was pretty bad. The day before is really bad. But uh, I, think I'm, I think I'm getting over whatever. Whatever diseased me. I'm, I'm fairly certain I just inhaled, you know, filthy dust and mold. From that, from that ancient space heater that was given to me. I had it in storage too. Oh, look at this. We got a silver nug, dude. That's the good stuff. These books over here. Eat some more meat. 
I wonder if sifting drains your stamina. I feel like I had to eat immediately after eating. Could be my imagination. And so you gonna edit this out? No. Welcome. Please, uh, I don't want to watch this. It's okay. Just close your eyes. Go to sleep. Right? If you're if you're bored, or save this for later. Save this for bedtime. God, I'm tired. Of ah, but I can never get to sleep. Well, watch this. This will put you to sleep, guaranteed. Right? You'll wake up, and I don't run ads. Right? I don't I don't tell YouTube to run ads. I tell them every time, no ads. Right? So you're guaranteed not to be, like, w woken up by a deranged maniac yelling at you. Right? So, at least I hope so. I have no idea. At least on these videos. Right? I think I have ads on the clip videos, but that's it. I really should run ads. I need pennies, dude. I'm not, I don't have enough pennies. I need way more pennies, dude. I, uh, it's bad, dude. Well, that's everybody. I think everybody's having a rough time to an extent. A lot of people need pennies right now. It's rough. Okay, it's kind of light out. It's kind of light out. I say we go hunting now. What do we end up getting on this run? We got two books. I got five flax fibers. Not bad. Not bad at all. Some flint arrowheads. Uh, two rusty gears. I should probably wear my glasses so I could see better. I, I'm still not... I still don't remember that I'm a glasses guy now. Okay. Damn, dude, that, that is better. Okay, uh... And we got one candle, so I'm happy about the candle. I'm happy about the fibers. That's good stuff. Let's go hunting, dude. Where's my gear pile? The gear pile grows. What? Oh, I'm hungry already. Yeah, we definitely have to go hunting. I'm scared that we're gonna starve, dude. I feel like I'm upping the odds of starvation chances with the way I play. Uh, let's put this over here. Put that away, put that away. The books I'll just leave on the ground. Alright, you ready for ominous sound? Discovered lore, reflection, two of five. Discovered lore, reflection, three of five. Oh, nice. I like it when they're related. Okay. Um. Let's just grab our spears. Uh, let's get a hand axe. We have one. Because I want to get some more wood, too. Right, let's just at least chop some trees down over by that tree line. Oh, hell yeah. This stuff is done. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I don't think it matters if it's outside. All right, here's our project. Pile. All right, we're going to do that right now. We have some bonus uh, storage. That's good stuff. Put that right here. I really like that sound. I'm going to put down uh, those containers. Now, this I'm not going to make out of bronze, right? It's just something we have on the ready. Okay, let's just fill this in. I don't need to look at this anymore. Disgusting, really. Disgust me. Okay, uh, this is our project, Paul. Let me, I'm just gonna move this. I don't want to, like, accidentally... Was this our project, Paul? Like, I don't, I don't want to fall for tricks. Um, all right, let's fire this up. I need a Sharkel. It should be done. It's real, dude. We're doing some metal work, some metallurgy. I can't believe it, cold guys grow it up. I'm more like he lived long enough for once. So I'll probably get another batch going. After that, it'll probably last us a long time. Because uh, once we situate our tools and our containers, the next shift in focus, besides food, food will always be a focus, is going to be on building our, our, our home. Now, I part of me wants to explore a little bit northward to see if uh, if things get better than this, right? But uh, I don't know. I don't know if that enraged you guys. You guys have like 
your standards shift, right? It's like, come on, Ed, you gotta get out of here. You've been here forever. Come on, Ed, you've been swimming around forever. Like, I, I can never win. I'm never gonna win. We're never gonna win. I've, I've accepted this. So we just go with the flow, I guess. Um. All right, let's get this going. Uh, I think uh, 10 is probably enough. And you can pre-light it with uh, with peat. I'm not doing that. Where's my torche? Hold on. All right, get lit. Okay, I'm, what I might do is I might go chop down one tree. Then run back. And then by then, it should be done. Or we could sift. Sifting might be more prudent, to be honest. Might be the wiser choice. Alright, let's sift while we wait for this to heat up. Oh, tongs! Oh, shit! Uh, hold on. Can, can I use uh, uh, reeds for rope? Ah, oh, shit. Do I, do I have tongs? I don't remember anymore. God damn it. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know if I have tongs. I'm just gonna go get some uh, some vines and we're gonna... Get out of my way! Get, get out of my way! Damn raccoons. Just like, I'm a baby. Get the hell out of my way. I gotta make tongs step. I completely forgot about this. Somebody even, somebody even reminded me. I wonder if anybody was like, tongs and tongs, tongs right now. We just gotta find a large tree. If we find a large tree, we'll be we'll be in the tong luck. Let's go check this side. Please don't get killed get killed by a bear for tongs, dude. I wonder if I have them. Wait, I have reeds. Hold on, hold on. Um one. Two. Let's go, dude. I think that's all I need. Okay, okay. How how does one tong? Uh, Local man goes into panic, screaming about tongs while holding a pair of tongs. I just, I just did the equivalent of like looking for my glasses while wearing my glasses. All right, don't tell anybody. Please don't tell anybody. Oh. Hey, no, don't worry. I got my tongs. Don't be fucking. Don't be silly. I know what I'm doing. I was just seeing. I was just, you know, making it dramatic for you guys. Right, I was just making it dramatic. It's like, will ends uh, obtain the tongs in time? I did. I did obtain the tongs in time. All right. We have tongs. I like how I panic about it. Um, let's put this other stuff away. I don't know why I'm walking around with a fistful of cattails anyway. Now I got a bonus rope. Can I put ropes on the ground? Hell yeah. 10 out of 10 game, dude. 10 out of 10 game. That looks badass, too. All of books and rope. That's not menacing at all. Alright, we really gotta go hunting, man. Um, this won't be ready for a while. Let's go look for something to hunt. Let me put this away so I'm not like increasing our hunger. Let's see a bunny, anything, anything at all. We'll just wait for that to heat up while we... I know there's a bear over there, but it's not in an ideal location. It's in a very slopey location, so line of sight and aiming is going to be very difficult. You can't like throw spears at him from 10 miles away. So that's just not worth the risk. On permadeath, in my opinion. But, uh, I mean, if we're going to starve anyways, I guess it was. Only time will tell. We'll know by next episode if I starve to death, if this keeps up. So I guess I had uh, copper here, right? Where is everything? Did we hunt a bear here last time? It might mean there might be some more bears around here. Gets decapitated by bear. No bear son of a bitch is gonna get me. He'll have to cut my head off. Um. Even with my glasses, I see. Wait, 
That looks edible. That looks very edible. Let's go check it out. Ah, oh, it's just grass. God damn it. Oh. Oh, that would have been bad. Um. I think I see a creature right there. Nah. I'm just deranged. So this isn't good, man. Um. Maybe it's a bunny. Right, if it's red meat, I'm kind of encouraged to save it. Uh, it looks like a raccoon. Hopefully he's got some flesh to him. Sorry, buddy. I'm I'm just real hungry, dude. You bastard. Alright, time for some hopefully raccoon tacos. Give me double meat. Come on. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take double meat, dude. A high, a light temporal storm. A light temporal storm. This is lining up around the time we pour out our our mold, dude. That is, that is unlucky. Okay, so this is all bad. This is all bad because this is going to interfere with our hunting. And we're going to consume a lot of food to survive the storm. Maybe like three or four pieces of meat. Damn. Things are getting a little dicey today. Food. Okay. I desire your flesh. Gets killed by ninja bear. Don't worry, guys. Uh, as of, uh, as when vi people make video games, they provide mechanics to uh, allow the player agency to survive uh, via a test of knowledge and skill. There's no way they would have like lacking sound effects on bears uh, to to give you no chance of survival uh, given the opportunity. All right, don't worry. It would never it would never work that way. Right, you have to be some sort of deranged programming maniac to let that slide. Or some sort of uh, uh, extreme bear enthusiast and apologist. Right? Uh, that would never be the case. Of course not. Alright, well, I say we just get back and check in on our our uh, our heat our heat levels our molten metals. Um, start cooking this up. Okay, our three steaks. I want more than this. We'll start cooking that up. Uh, just because. If we still have a lot of time on the melt, um, on the melting. Sorry, my voice is. It's it's getting difficult to. Oh shit! It's done, dude. I wonder how much charcoal I wasted. No, as you wasted about seven charcoal charcals. Had you wasted seven charcals, I, I I can't I can't watch you anymore. I'll never forgive you. Come on, it's just seven charcals. It's not a big deal. Unfollowed and reported. No, it's just seven charcals. You won't even realize they're gone. I'll make new ones. I'll make new charcals. I promise. All right. We worked hard for this. Be a real shame if we get killed in a storm. Look at this. Straight to bronze, dude. Feels good, man. What do you think molten metal tastes like? Nothing. As your tongue will melt and burn off. Tastes like paint. Okay. Bronze. I want it. The saw blade is priority. I'm going to pour that out first in case I miscalculated. Okay. Then the pick. And then the, the hammer is just bonus because we're going to be working a lot of metals and we want the hammer to last a little longer. Let's go, dude. Let's fucking go. Look at that. Hell yeah. All right. Um, let's start a barbecue with our residual heat. I thought I had Pete, but maybe Pete was in my imagination. I don't know. Whatever it was, uh, it's cooking now. Okay, let's put this up. Maybe we'll leave this here. You know you can use the second rack. It's, I know I know I could use the second rack. All right, don't, don't you don't have to tell me again. Maybe I just want it to look cool on the floor. All right, so our our fallback position for the storm is over here. Let me let me go hunting and then we'll we'll go check on that spot as well. Okay, we need to we need to murder more animals. All right, I don't know if that's a baby raccoon, but it looks like a taco to me. I think it was a baby. It made like adorable. No, what have I done? 
It won't be that bad if I get one taco. Don't say anything. I don't know. Uh, you know what? Ever, it's, uh, I used to watch the Sense guy ever since he killed that baby raccoon. Uh, I can't really put up with him anymore. You know, like uh, he used to be funny and entertaining. He used to keep it real, and you know he's changed, man. He let he let the fame go to his head. Right? He changed. All he does is eat babies. There's nothing to eat. It's just bones. Look, I pulled the trigger. We're we're in a survival situation, okay? A survival situation. I'm gonna fall back to here and I'm gonna swim in circles and hope that we survive the storm. That's the plan anyway. Oh. Well, would you look at that? Have I been here? It looks like I already looted whatever was here. Right? Using my my end senses tell me that I've already robbed this of whatever it had. But we could poke further down and take a look. Is that a brown thing to eat? No. You know, I gotta say... Even though we were in this pocket, uh, I wonder if it's not a true... Whatever, there's a bunch of vegetation everywhere. There's ferns. I wonder if I have enough food to survive the, the storm. I have a couple of bandages to heal my starvation wounds. Is it bad? Like, if, if Cold Guy dies, how upset would you be if I just jump into more Cold Guy? Even though I said I would, I would like... Because I've been in the mood for Cold Guy lately. My mood will dictate what happens when Cold Guy dies. Do we jump back in or do I start a, a normal edited, like I had originally planned, type of thing? I'm going to get lost. Where do I live? That way. Okay. Gets lost, never returns. I'm hoping for wolves or like a red-blooded animal. We've seen goats and, and caribou or whatever the heck they were. Right? Like mooses, mises. But that was a while back. Hmm. Well, if there's a bear by the water, you know the you know the drill. We killed the bear. Somewhere around this area, over there, that's where I had a close call. Almost let it sneak up on me. Hmm. Let's check out that ruin. Maybe it'll have food. Maybe it'll have some grains. Yeah, man, where, where, where's all the animals? There's like nothing around. I mean, to be fair, it is a desolate world. Oh, hell yeah. Look at this. Rye, dude. Bring those home. We have to expand the greenhouse soon. I got some grains? Okay, we got a, we got a few handful of grains. We should, uh, once we get our tools up, let's go ahead and make a... Well, I guess we already do. Let's make a mill. Cook up some porage. Classic porage. Um, I'm not sure if uh, that storm is happening anytime soon. I live this way, right? Past this body of water, next to the ne next body of water. What? Where are the? Where's the treasure, man? Where's the treasure, dude? Hold on. Oh, uh, I just realized I'm looking at snow again. Well, at least we have some building materials. Like, we found a, some, a few ruins that maybe we could just use. I really wanted to use, um... What's the word? Uh... Granite. And not this sandstone, because it looks kind of gross. But, uh, who am I to judge? Okay, there's some aged polished stone here. Okay, we'll have to dig this up another time. Let's go look for food. Food is priority. I don't even know which way north is anymore or south. Use the sun, ends. What? That is west. This is north. 
So the south was this way. Huh. I was going the wrong way. Wait a minute. Where do I live? I live, uh... There's a body of water that way, and past that body of water is where I live. Alright, let's take a look around. Is that a bear, dude? That's food. Let's try to get him. Hopefully the storm doesn't kick up while we're doing this. That is a bear. Looks very delicious, very crunchy. Right, full of bones. We want the bone marrow. That's where all the good fat is, all the nutrients, all those amino acids. Gather around the bone marrow. Is that true ends? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know how fast they swim. Slowly inches towards blue guy. I'm, I'm running. Let's get out of here. I'm going to swim sideways and hope it's faster than swimming straight. Where'd he go? Okay, let's just go all the way across and make some new spears and we'll fall back. I don't want him to drown. I didn't know this until recently. They drown, you get way less tacos. Way less uh, bear burgers. Sorry, I just have a... Uh, when I think of grilled meat, I think of, of making tacos out of the meat. Right? So I just have to... Anytime I think about food, I think of grilling. So I always go to burgers, tacos, and hot dogs. That's what I think about. All right. Um, let's make some spears. I think he's drowning right now. How many spears? Uh, let's say four. Maybe I can recover those that I've already chucked. Four is not enough to kill him. But maybe it's enough to like bait him around and then I can recover some spears. It's high risk because I the depth wasn't too deep. I think it was only one square deep and that's how you get Merc in permadeath. Invented story. Right? Right now the bear the bear enthusiasts are pissed. Uh, stop hunting bears in unrealistic ways, Eds. Okay, okay. I'll be sure to do that. Alright? On the next ends update, I'll be sure to patch out unrealistic bear hunting tactics. Okay? Um, I'll be sure to take care of that. But until then, you know, just keep play the game we have. Alright, until the next ends update, I'm gonna follow the current ends protocols. Little do they know the ends never updates. Little do they know that the ends is a degenerate old man that that will never update. Okay, I've been running on a Pentium one forever. Sorry, my, my voice is getting fucking worse. It doesn't hurt. It's just like irritate. It like it like locks up mid sentence. Uh, I do have a slight concern because uh, once type of viewer told me, you, you know, your voice changed. That's, I think I mentioned this last time. And I'm worried that I'm like altering my voice forever. And it's like, wow, and sounds like he just smokes a bunch of cigarettes and is like an old lady. Look, I'm not an old lady. Okay, I'm not an old lady. I just talk a lot every day. And uh, I don't take care of my voice. That's all. Big difference. Did you drown, dude? I'm, uh, how many... Uh, you're limiting my taco choices. As long as we get like 15 or 20, I'll be happy. How many tacos? Come on. At least be double digits. All right. Well, we got some fat. That's survival. Okay, now. Uh, do I want to cure this pelt? I don't think so. I think I'd rather just let it turn to compost, man. Right? Because uh, theoretically, if we ever find the good dirt, we could upgrade it to, to the mega dirt. But at the very least, I could just keep my crops fertilized and, don't, and not worry about rotation too much. Either way, I think uh, I'm going to hang on to the fat as emergency food. Uh, I think that's the better choice, dude. Okay. Let me go recover these spears and, and we'll head back. I might look for one more bear. When there are one, there are many. I don't know how true that is for polar bears. I always see, every time I see sad polar bear footage, they're always by themselves. This guy's struggling to find a, a meal. Right, they're always like lonesome creatures uh, traveling the, the ends of the world. Are 
You guys see any more food? I don't. I said we start heading back just to get my bearings. Because I'll, I'll mega lose my bearings. That's not a pun. Don't, don't, if someone's typing this out, time stamping this, and said bearings, like, uh, don't. I think we live this way. I want to get my bearings back before we get uh, turned around from the mega storm. All right, but we got some food. I think I see a, a brown bear. Nah. Might be my imagination. It's your imagination. It's okay, okay. Well, let's head back this way. <coughs> to our promised land. We might have to save the temporal storm for next episode, man. It lined up. At least we were able to pour out our stuff. Ah. <laughs> It'll be a real shame if we get killed. Right at the end, right when we finally get to, uh, you know, start building our home and stuff. Real shame. Alright, I know where I am. This is where I almost died to a bear. Oh shit, there's another one. You guys see him? I'm not gonna let him sneak up on me, man. Alright, well, so we have another food source. Right, and this, while there's poor line of sight, it's at least near water, so I can use that to, to escape. Um, but we got some more food. Either way, I want to, uh, we have food already cooked, and when I want to start cooking this food. But we'll go hunting some more later, and I gotta start getting more wood. Okay. I think, uh, the way this is lining up... Because I want to, before it gets dark, I want to pot up my tomatoes. And I want to pull a bunch of weeds. Um, I want to pull a bunch of weeds from my backyard. Like, uh, all I have is dirt now. But I don't want a bunch of weeds there. And now now that I learn more about soil. Uh, if I have enough money this month, I want to mulch my, my yards. Probably just get some, some wood or something. Okay, this is it. Um... Let me grab the food. Let me grab a light source that that will not go out. Right? Hold on. This is going to be bad, dude. It's going to be bad. We want a, a light source. Uh, for now, let's put this here. Uh, I'm going to take the fat with me. I'm going to grab the lantern. Or the candle. Or this this thing, at least. Let's get over there. Let's eat some meat now. All right, let's go. All right. It's a light storm. It's not a big deal. We just not a... Remember that we take 50% more damage. So as long as it's not like a, like a deep one or a nightmare, which are very rare and, and a light one, right? I think it has to have like X amount spawn or killed or whatever the rules are. But as long as they hit our Gambeson, we'll be fine. If they hit our chest, we're not fine. All right, here we go, boys. Hold on to your butts. And you're a coward. I don't care, dude. I'm trying to. I'm trying to keep our boy alive, the coldest guy alive. Right. So we're gonna have to navigate awkwardly here. Uh, I think uh, swim turn speed has been reduced. I don't know if that's gonna interfere with our evasion, but we'll see. As long as nothing spawns directly in front of me in a perfect way, we should be able to dodge everything. I also got to pay attention, right? If I look away or react slowly, I could get our guy murked. Um, mostly because of the 50% damage modifier. But, you know, our we have only a 1 in 3 chance. Actually, I, I, I don't know if the percentage is higher for the body. But let's just say we have a 1 in 3 chance of getting hit in the weakest point. Right, but we we have a hat. We we wear pants. Okay, we're clothed. We're clothed individuals. <coughs> I think this would be our third storm survived. Anybody keeping track of uh, how many storms we've had? On cold cold guy, the coldest guy. All right, so let's uh, survive this. I didn't refuel the fire, but, you know, hopefully get some more food cooked. Uh, we should have enough food to last us maybe three or four days, assuming we don't sleep. 
Uh, we found we spotted another bear to hunt. Uh, that we'll probably do that next episode. Try to tag that bear. That'll be the plan. Hopefully I don't get any close calls here. I just want a peaceful, warm life. Okay, that's it. That's all I'm asking for. I don't need any close calls. I wonder what this looks like from a third person perspective. Like if there's like a fly on the wall or like a like a, a flying GM flying above me. What's this guy doing? Why is he just swimming like that? Like, do I look like a maniac? Does anybody else do this to survive? Actually, for those of you that play permadeath... And, uh, well, whatever. It doesn't matter. For those of you that deal with the storms, some of you guys just turn it off, right? But, uh, for those of you that have it on, what do you guys do? I do this because, like, I experimented a lot of ways playing permadeath. And doing this is the second best thing to building a battle bridge. That's just what I call it. Uh, cause I never use mechanics. You guys know how I don't nerd pull. I never use the mechanics of like, Oh, I'm gonna put down a stone to stop them from spotting. Like, I never did stuff like that. Um... I, ca I guess you could argue, like, this is no different than... creating a safe room or a nerd pull, but... I don't know, I feel like I'm still playing the game, I guess. I don't know. I don't, it's not that I think it's bad to do those things. Don't misunderstand me. It's just the ends way, right? Just chalk it up to ends-isms. Disgusting, pathetic ends-isms. I think my viewers are getting, like, sick of me, man. They're tired of my ends Enslian ways. Right? They're like, why do you do this? Just don't do it. Just don't play this game if you hate it. It's like, no, I, I, I gotta fucking, I, I gotta finish this game. Right? Like, I, I lose... I fly off the handle. I start yelling at them. But, um... I'm curious, like, what is the... Actual strategy? Because whenever I watch a Vintage Story stream, uh, they don't really deal with, like, temporal storms, or it's so heavily modded that I don't understand... the rules set, you know? But I just swim around like this. Or I build a structure where it's just four paths they go in circles with gaps in between the paths and then if something spawns in front of me I jump to the other side and well, I keep running in circles and that reduces the odds of something just spawning right on me and killing me like that's how many times I've been killed just something like spawns in front of me one shots me but now that I'm not well this game still has the damage modifier but I'm not gonna do that anymore so I'm, I'm getting relieved of my ends-isms, my, my ends tendencies. I love these things though. The thunder gods or whatever they're called. Thunder lords. Weird bug guys. I wonder if we'll ever know more about them. Or if we ever interact with them. It's kind of cool. It's kind of rad. I, I I know a lot of people aren't a fan of this sort of stuff, but like I genuinely hope that Vintage Story leans in on this stuff because I think this is going to be one of the bigger this is not Minecraft things they could ever do right, if they lean in on, on, on the Temporal storm, storm stuff getting more sloth activity, dude it's Blue Guy, get him he looks real cold. You'll never get me. You'll have to cut my head off to do that. Maybe I shouldn't say that. Hell yeah, okay. Now you just gotta be patient. Let it ride out. Letting your guard down is how you get murked. Right? I've once been killed by being like, We did it, guys. We survived the temporal storm. And then just one shot. Stab from behind. I even got killed by a goat that way. Right, I guess I enraged it or something, I don't know. Alright, I'll probably encode this video. I don't like how my voice is cracking, man. This is terrible. Uh, uh you guys, you guys know that I'm like, I'm an adult, right? No one's gonna be like, wow, this, uh, this teenage guy, he talks like an old guy. I, I'm, I'm, uh, 
my voice isn't cracking. I just have a status ailment. Big difference. All right, man. I think we're going to be fine. Hell yeah, look at this. Well, would you look at that? And then on our victory walk home, right, guess what? We get to pick up our heavy metal. All right, we got some food. We got some uh, bear steaks, some bear jerky. Uh, dehydrating, is it a dangerous night? Oh yeah. So we might want to seal the door. I have a lot of spears to put up though. So it's a bit of a cursed evening. All right, so we're gonna have to run inside real quick. Seal that door right away. I wanted to check in on that, but the sloths aren't gonna let me. Okay, man. Well, we survived a temporal storm. We got our heavy metals up and running. Uh, so this is the plan. The plan is to go... Oh, my voice is so shot, dude. Uh, my plan is to uh, go hunting while we build... We're going to go hunting like every other day. Yeah, build up our stockpiles. We're going to watch over the plants. We're going to build up our resources. I'm going to gather all the stuff I want to build with. And then we're going to try to rebuild our humble abode. Now, I think the way I'm going to do the, 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 the greenhouse is that I'm going to build the shell. I'm going to build a greenhouse around the current one. That way, when I break it apart, hopefully it'll still be a greenhouse. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to make that call. Right? I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll just build it like a greenhouse and let it sit for a while. Okay, get get off my roof! God, God damn it! You, I, I, I gotta get out of here. I can't stand this. I'll see you guys next week. All right, hey! That filthy sloths every time.